Hi guys. Look who is into my business again. Little baby Enzo. Little baby Enzo lets you do whatever you want. Say hi to everybody. Now get out of my stuff. Okay. <laughs> um, so this is my um, garage sale haul video for the week. I'm thinking maybe maybe five or six different sales, but one was um, like babies and children's stuff that <clears throat> uh, me and my daughter went and it was all stuff for my grandson. So I don't have any of that. I kept a couple toys here for when he comes over so he'd have some new toys here to play with, but all that stuff's at her house. Um, we got some good stuff. Sorry, I can't show it to you. Um, but let's see. So the last sale I went to, the lady didn't have prices on anything. And this is something new that I'm going to start doing is picking up good Halloween costumes, good adult and children Halloween costumes, and selling these probably starting, you know, in September. I never did that before, so I don't know how it's going to work out, but... You know, the Party City price tag's on here for $45, $44.99, and I got this for $2. Bucks. Um, she said you just pretty much got to buy yourself some, uh, like, fishnets or something. That's the only thing not in here. Um, so I'm going to start picking up Halloween costumes. Um, and then the same lady, this is... Um, just a Rosetti bag, um, but it's a nice one. It's got one little spot I gotta clean, and I where is it? I rubbed it with my finger. It'll come right off, so that's no big deal. Other than that, it's in awesome condition, and it's got the cute little, um, you know, hangy tags and silver hardware. Um, so it was two bucks, and I just sold. Oh no, that was a. Tignanello, um, but I should be able to get like 10 bucks for this because it's a nice one and Rosetti's a good bag for the most part. It's not Coach or Michael Kors or Brighton or Louis or nothing, but it works. Um, what else did I get from this lady? I think that's all I got from that lady. And then another sale, it it was really crap, but she did have um, this brand new in the box party light um, for a dollar. So I bought this, and I've sold party light. I've sold even used party light before um, for a decent price. So um, I still have to ta actually take this out of the box. Here, I'll take it out of the box with you guys. You can see it too. Um, I opened it. I seen. This was in here, whatever this is. Uh, it's Christmas, so uh, probably wait closer to Christmas to put this, to list this. Okay, so you put your votive in here. And then you drop it in here. Uh, well, let's see. I'm gonna have to put this all back together. Cause this looks like paper. Oh, yes, yeah, inside. See, there's Christmas scenery, and then votive in there and it probably lights up all the different scenery and then this must go on top and it's probably really cute at Christmas and it's party light so I'm I'm sure somebody paid 15 anywhere from 15 to 25 dollars for this express it votive luminary yeah so it's gonna Illuminate all these Christmas scenes and 
Um, it's brand new, so I'm sure I can get at least 10 bucks for it, if not more. Now i got to package it all back up again, but that was fun. Okay, um, yeah, so that was it for that sale. Um, then another sale, oh no, this, this I got at the babies and children's sale to sell, because I've sold these before. And I should be able to get at least 25 bucks for this. And where's the little, oh, yeah, five bucks um, with all the little men and this little guy. And there's all kind of little doors for a little boy and then it rolls. And then, oh, watch right here. <laughs> so, um, these are fun. I know little boys like them. Um, and like I said, I've sold them before, and I'm sure I can get at least 25 for that. And it came with this other little boat and the little guys. Um, but I haven't researched it. Um, I just know I've sold those before. And that's the only thing I got from the babies and children's sale to sell. And then this last sale, um, I got this Vera Bradley for five bucks. I don't normally pay five for Vera Bradley, but it was a teenage girl and she was just trying to sell some of her stuff and make some money. And so I didn't want to try to talk her down on any of her stuff. And I sold this exact same purse for 15 before. I don't even think I need to wash this one. So... I just bought it, but she had really good stuff. This is a brand new Pepe Jeans dress, and it's really cool for $5. I don't know if you can see it. My daughter wants it. Um, so... I thought that was a really good score. I don't know what I'll get for Pepe jeans because um, I haven't sold them yet. Um, but she had a lot of brand new with tags. This was $5. Guess. Brand new. Super cute. And it's a two-piece. Um, this is a, like a long zip-up hoodie with three-quarter sleeves and matching capris with the tags um, $59 brand new and I don't know if that was for the whole set or just per piece but I only paid five I'm guessing at least 35 to 40 bucks um, Moda International, brand new with tags. Well, it's got the button thing still on it, and I got that for a dollar. It's a medium. And, oh, I, I mean, I should be able to get at least eight to ten for that. At least eight. Um, what's this? International Concept Size Medium. I picked this up for myself because if I have to go into the office, which in case you guys didn't know, yes, I do have a full-time job. Um, it's a nice job, great company, and a little over a year ago they said we're closing this office. Everybody take your computers and go home and work. So I work from home, so I don't really need my work clothes anymore. I'm going to do a closet clean out soon um, and I'll video that for you guys. But I figured I've had to go into the office once um, in the past year and I figured this would be cute if I ever have to go into the office. Um, so that's mine. And this is a bijou bijou for a dollar size large and it's got the one long sleeve 
and the one's short sleeve. Um, and it's like tie dye, cool colors. So bijou bijou, I should be able to get at least 10. And Ralph Lauren, this is cool. Kind of like, like hippie, hippie colors. Just a pullover hoodie, hoodie pullover, um, size large, Ralph Lauren. I paid a dollar, um, thinking at least 10. And yeah, this might be the end of my scores for the week. But the teenage girl had so much Victoria's Secret that she was selling, but she had crazy anywhere from $15 to $25 a piece on her Victoria's Secret. But then I was looking through a box of clothes and these were in there for a quarter. And of course I had to point it out to her because, you know, I wanted to make sure she wasn't going to charge me more than a quarter. But they're Victoria's Secret pink jammy pants. These got the shimmer on the butt. Um, so, yeah, wash them. They're not even pilling. I don't know. Well, there's a little bit of pilling, but I don't know why she would have made these a quarter compared to all her other Victoria's Secret. And then I got three candles, three brand new, nothing spectacular. They weren't Yankee or anything um, for a buck a piece. And when I got home, they weren't in my bags. So I was like pissed off all day about that, <laughs> but they're gone. Um, and I'm not driving back out there cause it was probably a 45 minute drive to that sale. So, um, I lost three bucks. So, uh, yep. That's my garage sale haul for this week. Um, if you like my video, please hit the like button. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. You can just hit the little, red subscribe button down in the corner. I'm trying to get um, a thousand subscribers and then I'm going to start making live haul videos. So if you'd like to see that, please hit the subscribe button, share my videos. Um, and that's it for now. So hope you guys had a good week and I'll see you next week.